Hey guys, so this is video number two for markup and discount. Um, my last video was about nine and a half minutes, almost 10 minutes maybe. And I know that's hard to upload to YouTube if it's much more than 10 minutes. So this video is gonna go over more practice problems because I only was able to do two on my original video. I wanna remind you that the formula we're going to be using to find a discount or markup price is the same formula where we're gonna use a proportion well, we're going to have the new price over the original price. Then we're going to use the formula of the other one of 100 plus or minus the change. Remember, if it's a markup or a tax, we're adding. If it's a discount or sale, we're subtracting the price because it's going to be cheaper. Well, a markup or tax is going to be more expensive, always over the same 100 that we've been using for a while. So you saw the main video, I went over the reason for this. So now what we're going to do to go ahead and do a few more example problems. So for this next example I want to do for you is a TV is normally $160. It is discounted 25% off. So we're trying to find out how much is it now that it is discounted. So while I'm thinking about this, I wanna to remember to myself, Discount means the price is gonna go down, which is what we like again. We like when prices are cheaper. So I'm gonna take my new board, which is totally fresh. I'm gonna write the formula on top, just like I always do. And I'm gonna to try to fill in the information that I remember. Now, if I remember that it, we're gonna look at it, it said the TV was normally $160. So I'm gonna write that on my original price. I'm gonna write the 100 on the bottom, and then I'm gonna do 100 on top, but I'm not done with the top number yet. I'm, it is discounted, so I'm gonna subtract 25. Discounted 25, X over here. 100 minus 25 is 75, so I'm gonna cross it off and put 75 as my new answer. I'm gonna cross multiply, 100 X, equals 1,200, 12,000, excuse me. I, I'm gonna divide by 100, and I'm sorry there's not as much room, but I get X equals 120. That means the TV now is not 160, but you can buy it for 120. Very, very exciting. So now if you look at the last video, that was two examples. This is the third example. I'm gonna do another one. And this next example is what real life is. So what I found is I found that a PlayStation 4 is $400. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know how much a PlayStation 4 is. So I just picked the number $400. If I'm wrong, sorry guys, I just picked the number of what I remembered it was when I think I first got a play, uh, Xbox One or PlayStation. It is. It, but you have to remember you have to pay an 8% tax. This is real life. I think we pay about 75 or 7.75%, so I rounded it to 8 to make it easy. How much is the Xbox going to cost? Because you have to pay the store $400, and then you have to pay a tax of 8%. So we're going to get our formula, new over O, the original, 100 plus or minus 100, over 100. I'm going to do just like before. Make my two proportions. I'm actually gonna write a little bit higher up so that I have a little bit more room. I know the original price was 400. I know the bottom right number is always 100. I know the top number is 100. But this time, because it's a tax, I have to add eight. I have to add eight. Now that I've done that, I have my variable of X. I cross multiply, I get 100x equals 43,200. Again, I use the calculator, don't be afraid, use calculator, get it right, yeah. I'm gonna line, circle, cover, and divide. Number on the side, I divide. Number below, we multiply. That's right, guys, I don't forget that song. I love that song. And I would get 400 and 32 as my final answer. I hope these two extra examples help you. Come on Zoom if you need more help. Bye.